Hello everyone and welcome to, I don't know what fucking episode this is, of Let's Play the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. With me is Indy Timmy, say hello. Hello, I'm very sick, sorry for gross noises. He's had, he's had the Kung Flu. I have had COVID for a while. Thankfully Which, not as bad as it could have been, but still, it really sapped my energy. Yeah, um... Uh, as you, I'm sure you, many of you are well aware, when we do this game, or Far Cry 4, that means uh, Dalton is not here. He is, I think, in North Carolina? But I don't remember off the top of my head. He's gonna, he's gonna be gone till Monday. I think I have a problem with that. I need to message Leo and get some tea. He brought you up on stream this past weekend. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, I need to... Uh, I know he's already... I know we've already rekindled his friendship. Just, just talk to him. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, ha he doesn't hate you anymore. Like, he did for a while, but he doesn't hate you anymore. He's like... Well, I, I would have hated me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was not... Like I said, it was... Um, there's nothing else except a mania episode because I was I was convinced I was happy through it all like I was convinced everything was perfectly alright I was very 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 not happy <laughs> and my life kind of fell apart and then I lost you and I just cried a lot and it sucked and I don't want to talk about that <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't even remember what the fuck I was doing. This is the problem with uh, going so long between playing this game. But hey, it's kind of a just a game you can explore, you know. This is why I can't do this with games anymore. I, I this is why I had to give up the that let's play style because I can't, I can't keep quitting games like that. <laughs> I always end up quitting. Like I always end up just giving up and then playing it sometime in the future like the amount of times I gave up on uh, Skyrim is wild you did and eventually beat that on stream yep I still have it on up on my YouTube I remember you doing that are you over in comfort am I oh okay I thought because you were just walking no, I'm, apparently I'm not over encumbered. I don't know where the fuck I'm just going or where the, I am. Just enjoying the scenery. I mean, there's plenty of scenery to enjoy and all these get like. I even like uh, like even going back to as dated as it looks now. Morrowind's artistic design is gorgeous. Oh, dude! I mean, I can go back to Daggerfall and say that game looks gorgeous. Daggerfall was so fucking, like, it, it's much easier to go back to that one if you play the Unity version, and you can get that for free on GOG. And I, I would recommend that if you want to play it, you do. Um, actually, it's recommended you use the Steam version over GOG, because there's some problems with the GOG version. Oh, there are? Yeah, with the, the Unity engine has some weird problems with the GOG version, whereas it, with Steam it works perfectly. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. One of the few times where GOG version is not recommended. Yeah, in general, GOG is awesome, and oh, yeah. I would. Like, uh, they're good, but yeah, for, even GOG is like we we're trying to figure out what the fuck's going on, dude. Yeah, they're all about game preservation. But there's just something weird with the mod. But no stars know, shine so upon the doomstone. I don't know what that means. Sounds like Doom Guys stone. Doom Guys Doom stoned? I'm so fucked. <laughs> Doom Guys always stoned. He, he probably just, like, gets high as shit and just holds, like, Daisy in one hand. He goes, <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> that's, my, that's my secret, Captain. I'm always high. Well, I know you all. I know you are. <laughs> oh, I do. I, I'm high a lot of the time. You and 
you and Reed from Snoot Game. I'm, I'm going to do that on stream someday. Now that I finished, mm -hmm. uh, now that I finished one hug, one hug that gator, which I broke down and fucking like. If you go back and you watch that stream where I did, where I beat it, there were, there were parts where you could hear me fighting tears. <laughs> I mean, I didn't even fight back tears when I played Echo. I just let myself uh, break down in that shit. I, well, I was streaming, so I was trying to get through it, and the tears made that fucking yeah. difficult. <laughs> yeah, I need to watch some of the, those videos of yours sometime. Well, I did the full playthrough of it on... And I got ending three, which is not the canon ending. It's the kind of, sort of, happy, bittersweet ending. Oh, okay. I'm assuming the canon ending is the good ending. Yeah. It, it kind of like... Uh, it'd be kind of like uh, Leo's good ending versus Jenna's good ending, you know? Oh, okay. Or Jenna's good ending is the happier one, but Leo's... Everybody lives, but it's bittersweet. Yeah, I get that. And, I mean, there's always the chance Leo and Chase could meet at, with Leo's ending. Well, I mean, th they do have that little epilogue where he goes back there and him and Kudzu are together. Yeah, but I, I just mean, like, after that, there's a chance that... Leo's in a better time. Yeah, I but hope. Because I... of Arches, we know. We know that Jenna's not the canon. <laughs> uh, don't remind me. I guess if you don't want to acknowledge Arches, though, um, and she... just think of it as its own thing. She's my girl. I love her to death. Mm. I'm, I'm going to stream her play a playthrough of her route at some point. I know you mentioned her and Carl. Yeah, her and Carl, because the... And, okay, I've been here before, because there's a dead dog. And I, I, I might try and convince you to stream TJ as well. I was thinking about doing TJ. And you said you wanted to join me for those streams and play TJ, right? Yeah, I'd be up for that. I mean, TJ is barely in Carl's, but yeah. Yeah, but TJ would be more in Jenna's, right? Oh, yeah, TJ's in a lot more in Jenna's. I mean, TJ's... Uh, Jenna kind of acts motherly to him, doesn't? Mm -hmm. Like, protect, like a protective... Makes, like, I don't know about overbearing, but like a protective kind of mother towards him. She also makes TJ play pranks on Chase. Well, yeah, yes. they, they do that. Well, <laughs> to be fair, TJ also finds that funny, so... <laughs> Like that honestly legit might be my song of the year right now. Well, it is right now, but I, I love it. I'm addicted to it. Okay, I've been here too. Let's go somewhere else, because I've been here. Yeah, I was about to say, I'd have just been through all of that. Yeah, I've been through this before. I could tell because there's a dead rat. <laughs> <laughs> should play through Luigi's Mansion, yes. I, I did Just comment that on your... <laughs> Can you still not reply to my comments? Uh, uh, yeah, it still says, oops, something went wrong. That's fucking weird. Yeah. That's really fucking weird. I wonder why you can't reply to my comment. And I'm subscribed to you and you're not on the block list. Yeah. Did you watch my King Kong video? I never... You never told me what you thought of that. Fuck, I still need to. My mind has been mush the last few days. I need to. I will... Next week, I'll, I'll give it a watch. I promise. As, or actually, if I'm able to, this weekend as well. Just because, like I said, I'll be helping Dad settle in Friday in the following days. But honestly, 
if he's feeling as good as he is, weekend should be good. I cannot tell you how just foggy and mush COVID made my brain this week. Uh. Okay! Okay, never mind! I was about to say, that's probably an enemy. Where'd you go? this again I know there's a specific key I just I don't remember what key is magic I don't remember let's see let's get the controls no really I want to look at the goddamn controls I know Skyrim has like a specific button for heal attack okay E E? Trying to heal myself so I don't fucking die. Activate, block, cast. Okay. It's gotta be C then. That's weird. What the fuck? Fuck off, Twitch. I don't want your survey. The screen on stream suddenly just started to shrink for a minute. Ooh, take this survey. No. Did you hear, by the way, the new feature they're about to start implementing? I heard they're raising the prices of subscriptions specifically for mobile users. That, and uh, they're adding something called the knock-knock feature, where other streamers can just uh, invite themselves onto your stream, and there's a notification saying, hey, someone wants to join in. Which is very stupid. Okay, so I did all that just so I could discover that he accidentally killed himself. <laughs> Amazing. Maybe he poisoned himself. Now he got hit by that thing. Oh, shit. I would highly recommend whenever you come across a a fucking locked door or chest or anything, have a controller handy because it's amazing how much better unlocking stuff feels on a controller. Like, that's, what I, that's legitimately what I would do. I would always switch over to my controller when it came to lockpicking. Just, holy shit. After playing this on PC, yes, I understand what people mean about the lockpicking. It's the key, it's the mouse. The mouse is the problem. So I can promise you the, the lock picking system is not the problem. Makes it worse. A plus and controller. I... I don't... I... It's been so long since I played this on a console. I don't remember what it's like on console. I was about to say, have you ever played this with a controller? Yeah, it's the first... Was the first place I played this PlayStation... No, it might have been PC. I don't remember, but yes, I have played it on a console. I've got... I sent you... I believe I sent you a physical copy for the PlayStation 3 because I had two, didn't I? Yeah, you did. 
it's on my the little folders on my shelf. Um, yeah, my first time I played this and Skyrim was both console. And it's funny too. Uh, we got it when we got Skyrim when they still had the glitch of, oh, you can't have too many saves or else it's gonna run the game slow. That was prevalent on PlayStation, wasn't it? <laughs> and also, uh, we got it new enough when um, my brother had gotten a ni level 99 on, flat on his smithing and various other things. And then he wanted to make a, a Link file, you know, a character like Link, but he yeah. deleted his other file. Ugh, that's pain. And so he didn't play, he didn't touch Skyrim for like over a decade. That is pain. Yeah, I I had it. I first played it on the PlayStation Skyrim on the PlayStation Three, and I had that save bug feature. Like, when it just slows down to like fucking crawl, you know? Become unplayable. But you said that was a thing on other PS3 to enjoy. Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, it was. It was a thing on this one, even. What the fuck? That's, that's wild. That it, to a much lesser extent, because this was a much less demanding game. Yeah, yeah Skyrim. Skyrim probably pushed the PS3 a little bit to its limit. It did. Yeah. With the big open world remember, and everything. I definitely remember Skyrim being a lot glitchier on the PS3 than it is now. Yeah, don't play it on the PlayStation 3, y'all. And it, it, it did it with... Uh, it, it, that glitch was pre prevalent on uh, Fallout 3. Basically, ba every Bethesda game that was using that engine. So Fallout 3 and New Vegas were both affected in this. Jeez. Now, now these, those were such less demanding games that it was a lot less common, but it still yeah, happened. It was... It was a lot more common in Skyrim, I think. Yes, it was. It's wild thinking back about back to that time of just like the 360 and the PS3, because it that, that's like that feels like another that feels like a completely another life in general, doesn't it? Gaming was better back then in general. We were spoiled. We, we we had no idea how spoiled we were back then. And don't get me wrong, there's still good games coming out. Like last year was fucking full of them, but oh yeah. But compared to the absolute monsters we used to get, now we used to get like new big game like twice a month. It was insane. That's because games didn't cost as much or take as long. Only games like Skyrim or GTA would take that long. Yeah. And then you played them and you understood why. Well, that's the thing. Every game now needs to be big budget. Yeah. That's why, that's why I'm happy for indie games still. Yeah, indie games are still... Do, like, And they need to learn to fucking compress their goddamn games. They do. I mean, I know Black Myth Wukong. That's definitely a huge game, but... Dude, that game is getting nothing but nines and tens. Like, that, people are shocked of how good the game is. Like, they're calling it a complete labor of love. Yeah, I I'm interested in that game. It's funny. People found out that most of its um, audience started out in China <laughs> because um, uh, at a certain point where everyone in China goes to sleep, it dropped two million players. Yeah, I mean, it's a Chinese game about a Chinese myth, so that makes sense. I also heard somewhere that it's basically also just Goku. Yeah, uh, Journey to the West was a big influence on on Dragon Ball. That's amazing, because, yeah, that's what, my, that's what I told my brother that game is, essentially. Furry Goku and you're a monkey, Go or furry Dragon Ball Z and you're monkey Goku. Okay, my controller does not fucking work. On this game now. 
Maybe it's something you have to do before starting it up. Yeah, because again, I absolutely understand why people hate it with keyboard and mouse. On controller, it's another ball game. Fine. Fine game. I will just go this way. <laughs> the fucking controller not working and shit. I found an underground pool. Another one of those things. I still think about how my Xbox, my 360 got the Red Ring of Death and yet survived it. My, my 360 survived a house fire. All right. Wow. Put mine to shame, why don't you? <laughs> I wasn't trying to. <laughs> oh, yeah. My, my Xbox survived a glitch. Oh, yeah. Mine survived a whole fucking fire. I would not recommend house fire. House fire bad. House fire not fun. Oh, yeah. No, dude. I mean, house fire, that's just a force to reset. Like you're being forced to restart your life. Did my... What happened to my weapon? They break in this, don't they? Or is it just being glitchy? I don't know. But yeah. Uh, after the stream, I'm definitely going to have you watch that Fallen Universe. <laughs> I was go I was going to, and then I got sidetracked and listened to Lincoln Park instead. Oh, you're good. I'm I'm happy to be here to watch you react to it. I, I mean, at least listening to Lincoln Park is a good use of my time. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I'll never I'll never deny anyone. Oh fuck you! Oh fuck! There's two of them. Good thing this isn't Dagger Paul. You wouldn't be able to kill them. With what you have. It's actually amazing how simplified the Elder Scrolls ended up making the rule set of D and D. Yeah. Like they made it easy for people like me who have never played D and D previously. Although you really got into Baldur's Gate three. I did, and you should get back to I'm that. Very. I will, eventually, when I have more storage and less games to play, but it's also daunting to me to get into it, just because I think it took me over 10 hours to actually, like, start enjoying it. No, I get that, like, so it, because you never, you never played a CRPG before, so it was all new territory to you. Yeah, which, from what people have told me, it was not the best starting CRPG. <laughs> so, people have said to have learned from that one. It's actually pretty good. So, maybe it'll be like riding a bike. Maybe once I get into it, maybe things will just come back. Because I do... God, I want to go back to Warplot. I love that character. I love how just suddenly he became evil. Like, he was kind of okay, he was kind of alright, but then suddenly, like, kill everybody, <laughs> destroy the one being, or whatever. The I, I love when a game let, gives you that freedom. Like, I usually play a goody two-shoes character, but I love when a game gives you that freedom. I love playing evil. Like, when I was younger, I would always go good first, but as I've gotten older, I, I don't know. <laughs> I love going evil first. I don't know what that says about me. Do you ever play through... You Have you played through Knights of the Old Republic? Um, I've never beaten it, but yes, I've played it many a time. It's so good. It really is. I fucking love that game. I, I had it on the original Xbox, and probably still do. And yeah, I... I've got it on oh. both Xbox and PC. I've got two versions. I have it on Steam now as well. But yeah. No, I mean like a physical uh, copy on PC. Ooh, that's cool. But yeah, uh, that game, I lost many hours to it. 
easily easily understandable. It's so like, and God, I miss when Star Wars had good writing. <laughs> Yeah, fuck the acolyte, like, like fucking lesbian space witches making a baby out of nothing. Like, what the fuck is that? Space and space. <laughs> you didn't hear about that with the the acolyte, Star Wars, the acolyte. I heard there was a lot of shit people hated about it, but I didn't know it was space lesbians. Yeah, yeah, there was there was a co there was a witch coven of like a whole group of lesbian space witches that used the force and called it something else. I heard that they were trying to... Is the Acolyte part of the whole movement they were trying to do to get rid of the dark and light side? Yep. Yeah, and it failed miserably and it got cancelled after know. one season just a couple days ago. And it's so funny too because when I... As Great Jedi's I about, exist! Like... As soon as I heard that they were trying to do that, get rid of the dark and light side, I immediately in my store started seeing Oreo dark and light side. Yeah. So it's like, what is it, Disney? You trying to get rid of it or you're embracing it? Yeah, I think Disney knew that they made a mistake with the Acolyte. Because yeah. I had heard, like, the first time I'd heard about it was from Angry Joe, and he had nothing but horrible things to say about it. Yeah, he said it. He said it uh, was a new low for Star Wars, basically. Yeah, it is. It. I mean, he's not wrong. It's terrible. <laughs> Nobody fucking liked it. Which is weird to go from the Mandalorian to that. The Mandalorian season one was good. Oh, I haven't yeah, seen too. season two, but season one was good. Seasons two, two is, isn't bad. Season three, I feel like, is better. Season two is a, definitely an in between season. You can I know they they had uh, didn't they have Ahsoka show up in season two and um, uh, Luke? Mm -hmm. Luke was in season one. I know it wasn't season two. It's been so long, dude. I think about it, The Mandalorian started right as quarantine was getting big. Oh god, that shit was terrible. I fucking... I do not miss that. Th those years were miserable. I, I, I used to say quarantine didn't do much to me, but I feel like it did a lot more to me. It did something to all of us, like... I mean, if the Mania episode is anything to go by, I guess. Yeah. Well, that was, I think, years of build up, emotional build up. Because, like I said, I had a moment after beating Ghost of Tsushima of like, where have I been all these years? I feel like I woke up. It was kind of like uh, that moment in Echo, where Samuel left Ch Chase. It's like you just I felt like a new person almost. Well, whatever it was, I'm glad. Cause boy, did I miss you. <laughs> you missed me too. <laughs> Cause I didn't completely feel all here. Hey, I leveled up. Oh, I forgot. You need to sleep to level up in this one. I forgot about that. <laughs> 20 gold. He's cool. I always forget how good that Elix song is by Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis is awesome. I didn't know until I got that three disc version of Meteora. But there's a version of One Step Closer where he sings a verse. Yeah, uh, One Step Closer, or I wouldn't know how to say it. But yeah. There's a live version of that with oh, him yeah. singing a verse that's included. 
I was like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. I fucking love Jonathan Davis. Jonathan Davis works with, work with a lot of people. And I also, I'm pretty sure him and Chester were friends. Yeah. That, they, that and they covered, uh, I didn't know they had covered Wish by uh, Nine Inch Nails. Thank <laughs> you.